And uh, look, this is perfect operation. That's why you do this in practice each and every week. And Mike Nugent, good. There's been a much maligned bunch of kickers out there, but Nugent did what he needed to do. Well, and after trading a couple possessions in overtime, it would be Nugent banging it off the left upright and in 42 yards. It's good. The Bengals remain undefeated 5-0 and for the first time since 1980. What uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson did this week or this couple days ago during NFL football. Did either of you guys catch that? No? Nobody? I did not. Okay, I I will mention it to you. It is great. So I watch football on Sundays every once in a while, and uh, even though I'm from Seattle and and our our team hasn't been around that long. But the Cincinnati Bengals won in overtime when they kicked a field goal, and it bounced off one of the goalposts and in. So it it made it in. And, And they won. It was a very exciting game. It was like one of the premier games of the day. But what was interesting was, is that Neil deGrasse Tyson sent a tweet to the NFL network about three or four hours later saying that, and I couldn't make this up if I tried to look this up. There's already some YouTube videos on it saying that the reason why the football bounced off the upright and went in was because of the rotation of the earth because of the Coriolis effect. Now, that seems like some really it seems like a very very desperate move and it is a desperate move because we've all seen this look anyone that's watched football look football's hit the goalposts constantly like every other week in the pros it's college every week it's been happening every week for as long as there's been football as long as you could be able to kick a, kick a football and nobody's ever brought this up but for whatever reason this year this week, it's not even playoffs yet. We're only in week five, I think. It's not even the playoffs. And Neil Grass Tyson happens to mention this tweet, and the NFL Network, you know, you know, they were reading it, and and it was all over national news, and and local news, and and it was kind of a big deal. And I go, it's really, it's it's just irritating it's, because they're they're barking up the wrong tree with this. Because one, jocks don't like to hear about science for the most part. I mean, that's the whole reason they're playing football is because they're not the nerds that, that love the science. So I don't know, you know, it, it was, but that's, that's how desperate they are. They're trying to, to hit a demographic here that, uh, you know, it's, it, they would just ignore them. So that's my, that's my take on it. I just thought I'd throw that at you guys. Yeah. I mean, that just really seems like he's just really trying to reinforce it however he can. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, it, it's always convenient that they want to mention the Coriolis effect, but usually it's always in the light of really long distances. But I guess yeah, yeah, that was over that a was, few yards. Yeah, he <laughs> he was saying it was like a third of an inch uh, per 40 yards or something like that. Like the four, the field goal is going, really? And, How do and, we not miss sniper shots by like 500 feet then? Th- there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know what? They're listening to this right now or they're going to listen to it in uh... – on YouTube, so yeah, keep laughing. Let's all keep laughing. Yeah, because it's the and and I've seen some of the posts where you know some people they just they they haven't read all the the material yet that's been coming out in the last month, and they said, well, you know, snipers. I keep that story just keeps popping up. Snipers keep mentioning that they they have to account for the spin of the Earth at at twelve hundred yards or, or whatever. You know, in fact, there was one guy that says at eight hundred yards you don't, but at twelve hundred yards you do. It's going how how does that work? Exactly. It just doesn't exist at 800 yards, but at 1,200 yards, it, it does exist. And, and that, 40 yards. And Yeah, and 40 yards with a, <laughs> with a, with a football that's, that's spinning. And it's not even a round – it's not even a sphere that's, that's hitting the, you know, the goalpost. It's like, oh, there's so many things wrong with that statement. And I know Neil was probably forced to do it, but I will say this. I had given him the benefit of the doubt until now, and now it's like, oh, no, he's totally in on it. Wait, maybe maybe he went to the same college or university as Nathan. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, next they'll tell us it's actually because of the mass of the football and the post, and you know it had elliptical gravitational pattern around it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, I'm sorry that just that just bothered me. So. You don't you don't have this problem in football in other countries. I mean, where football is soccer. Yeah. No. They use a, they use a round ball. Anyway, go ahead. They do use a round ball. <laughs> good point yeah it's because this oblong ball the you know uh, anyway okay hey, it's funny you mentioned oblong though because neil degrasse tyson said that we're an oblate pear-shaped earth 
Thank like, you. That's what I was thinking. There you go. Good <laughs> that's exactly what I was. I'm glad you caught that. I did not. I yeah, did not I catch caught that. it. I caught it. I, yeah. See, I'm I'm dumb sometimes. I'm dense. I you know I I may seem smart sometimes, but there's sometimes things that just fly right by me. <laughs> just seriously, like a football. Like a football. Like a football. <laughs>